I ain't going to play with it. Everybody putting it, bam, I'm putting it out there. I'm working. Top five shooting guards of all time. Like I said, to me, AI is a positionless. He don't got no position. That's how great AI is. The one, the two, he's just a guard. He in the class of his own. I don't even compare him with the shooting guards. And that ain't no disrespect to AI. That's how great he is to me. Can't compare him to nothing. That's why when you measure AI greatness, we don't give a fuck he ain't got a ring. Of course, it would have been good for accomplishments to win a ring, but everybody can't win a ring. He he ran into a dynasty when he had his uh, chance to go or dynasty in the making with the Lakers. Cool, they lost. So top five shooting guards without the great uh, Allen Iverson. Of course, at the top, we go on Michael Jordan and we go on Kobe Bryant off bucks. Now me, a lot of people like to put Wade at number three. I don't got Wade at number three, and I ain't really one of those with us, this and that, but just from what I seen, Wade a bad motherfucker when he was in his prime, did his thing, he helped Shaq get a ring when Shaq was at the end. But Wade was the finals MVP back in 06, and I seen why. He was a bad motherfucker, athletic. But the next time he got back to the finals was 2011, which was five, six years later, and Wade was already breaking down by that part because of too much injury, where I don't believe Wade was able to get no ring on his own, like being number one option. Or fuck winning a ring, because I ain't even a, I don't even believe Wade was able to, at that point, lead his team to an NBA Finals being number one option. Taking nothing away from it He still did his thing With LeBron being number one option I get it But to me I don't have that nigga at Number uh, three In my opinion Clyde Drexler In my opinion Is still The third best shooting guard of all time In my opinion The reason why Because with Drexler being the number one option He took the Portland Trailblazers to the finals and in 1991 I believe it was a game seven don't quote me on it I don't know it could have been a game six I don't know but they lost to the 91 Lakers who went to the finals who might beat to get his first ring so they went to three straight Western Conference championships and out of those three he led his team to two of the finals and even when he wasn't the second option I mean the first option he win a ring with um, Hakeem. And even the year after that, they win the ring. No, nah, not that year, but I think two years later. They go to the Western Conference Finals with him being at the back end. But I just feel like he was more consistent. He dominated with his teams. He didn't break down with the... He gave 11 straight years... And 10 out of those 11 years, he was the number one option with Portland. People felt Wade, uh, Wade had broke the fuck down. Wade was already injury prone by the time LeBron got there. Huh? And he was getting bounced. He was getting bounced in the first round. Clyde was going to the finals. I think Clyde. I got to go Clyde, man. And go back and look at the numbers. Even with the numbers, I'm going Clyde. That's to me. Now, accomplishments, I'm going way. But just moments, the nigga that's number fifth on my list, he a bad motherfucker. He was just in that tough-ass herb. And if it wasn't for LeBron coming to help Wade, in my opinion, like I said, I don't even believe he was going to the finals, so that kind of helped him. I, I got to say LeBron helped. They helped each other, to be honest, and now I get it. They really did help each other for their each of their legacy. They owe each other a lot for their career, bro, because if LeBron didn't come there with the whole boss shit, bro, I, I just don't think Wade, not the way it was going, man. They was getting bounced out the front. They couldn't beat Boston. Remember, Boston came and bullied the block. 
They teamed up to get rid of Boston because at the time, first of all, them niggas was coming from another ur. And they was at the back end, but it was enough. They had enough game to dominate unless some younger players super team this shit, which would happen. And 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 Boston still took them to game seven and they got cheated out of one of the games with the no call on Rondo. I remember. But it was cool. Time for a change. They helped each other. So with that reason, I got to put Wade at number four. And I'm a little reluctant. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, I'm a little reluctant. And number five, I got to go with that great Reggie Miller. Just from doing the damage that he done from the shooting guard position. And I ain't trying to hear shit about the beard. Because that's numbers. I'm going with basketball player. Sometimes a nigga ain't going to have the numbers when they're playing a team sport and his defense going on. The beard has yet to lead these motherfuckers to the finals. Now, he has a chance. He's still playing. But he has yet. Reggie Miller has led the Indiana Pacers to three straight Eastern Conference finals. And out of those three... One of those was the NBA Finals. One of those was a loss in Game 7 to the Chicago Bulls, which is an accomplishment in itself because you were competitive. You took a dynasty to Game 7. You should say, I view the game totally different because it's always going to have to be a winner or losing. How the fuck we going to praise the people that's winning but not give credit to the people they beat? Because that's why they're great, because they beat. Michael Jordan is great because he beat the great Reggie Miller-led team in seven. And Reggie Miller had a game winner in that series. Come on now, Reggie Miller number five. And LeBron helped Wade get the number four. Now, I'm going to tell you who's going to crack that list when it comes. This is me, what I predict. Who's going to crack that list before Harden, in my opinion. And then, of course, naturally, Reggie Miller going to have to come off to me. He's going to have to come off the list. He's going to be bumped to number uh, six, but it's only well-deserving, in my opinion. But the great Clay Thompson will be a top five shooting guard of all time when it's all said and done. And in my opinion, Clay, fuck that. Clay might already be there. Fuck that. Clay greater than... I got... He might be higher than Wade. The only thing with Wade... Clay has never been the first option. But to me, the Warriors has always been a nucleus. Team. I think Steph Curry, the MVP caliber, this, that, and the third. But if they need to go to Clay, they'll go to Clay too. Point blank the fuck, period. So that's the only thing with Wade. We got to see him win with being first option. So that's what they want to do with Clay. But for me, just looking. And you got to give it to Wade, too, because Wade was a hell of a two-way. He played defense. But Clay played defense, too. But then Wade stopped breaking down. Wade got three rings. Clay got three rings. They kind of similar, man. That's the real comparison. Wade and Clay. Because when, because Reggie I Miller. Hey, when Wade goes to the hole, because it's like he always ends up on the floor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's the thing. Matter of fact, to be honest, I think I could already put Reggie Miller at number six. I believe Clay Thompson deserves to be top five shooting guard of all time. Of all time. And, and that's me going off accomplishments. Because if I'm really going on impact and talent, the Iceman George, George Gervin, if we going with just pure talent, he's in top five. That's the Iceman George Gervin, who I believe can give you 20 in any year. And that's just because, think about it. He had a finesse game. He's giving you the soft finger roll. It's hard to teach doing shit around the basket. 
and he lengthy. He's lanky. He a tall motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, we got to give those honorable mentions. That's why, in my opinion, I, I'm really getting tired of top five, top this. It's too many great people. Fuck it. If this nigga was on this team. Competition. Yeah, if this nigga was on this team, shit probably would have been different. Mm-hmm. I'm just being real. like. But, yeah, I, 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 I got to say Clayton Bump. Reggie. But then again, I'm going to tell you another nigga I'm bullshitting about. Ray Allen in his prime ain't nothing to fuck with. Niggas ain't never go against Ray and feel like they're going to automatically beat Ray. If the game is close, Ray saved Wade and LeBron on one of them championships when he was old, Ray. <clears throat> but he 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 outside of the top five. I'm just saying it's just it be circumstances. Mm-hmm. Cause when I think Circum- about favorite for me, favorite, I'm not eliminating Ray for Wade. Top ten. Definitely top ten in my opinion. Ray is top ten shooting guard. That's Ray. He's a deadly shooter. But how could these niggas say? But these young niggas talking this shit, man. They don't really know Clyde Drexler. That's a bad motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That's a bad motherfucker. That's Clyde. That's why they need to stop talking this top five. If they be respectful, they need to just talk about top five in their errors. I'm starting to think you That's can't even do it. Doing errors, yeah, yeah I, I don't think you could keep doing it. Keep it this er. Once you do that other er shit, you being disrespectful. And I just gave, I just told them why Clyde was that oh, nigga. Like every twenty years or something. I just told, I just, I just simply said. I just simply said why uh um what's the name is top five. I'm talking about Clyde. They don't even mention Clyde. You think the white bitch... You think... Wait, you nickels don't know about Clyde. So how the fuck you gonna be talking about top five of all time when your ass is not studying all times? What you looking for? We could crush it. What about you, Hayes? Top five. From what you seen. We only going from what you seen. seen. Top five shooting guards of all time. I would go with... I would go with... Of course, Jordan, number one. Uh Uh-huh. Definitely Kobe. Number two, Slack. Three. Uh, I would. I. I. It's like way. I, I wouldn't even really. I don't want him in my top five, but he. He do belong. But because of accomplishment. Yeah. I would say I. I have. Him. Yeah, probably at. If you had him at four, yeah, I would have him probably at four too. But three. Pity pat off of your shit, but your shit is accurate. Cause I have, I remember watching some of the Drexler shit with you. That's Drexler. Yeah, and how clutch he was. This was a consistent all star. But ain't and wasn't too many niggas get winning championships back then. It was always like dynasties. Yep. But I, I definitely would have Clay. I, 
I think I would have Clay over Wade simply because I think Clay still got more time to do some more greatness. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably put Clay at three. But ability, it is the fact that how Wade could way way better than Clay off that dribble though. Yeah, and going off, to but the that's hole. Just dribble. And yeah. off the hole, and that's mm-hmm. if he can get the and one. Because then Clay could say, I could outshoot Clay, Wade. Yeah, I'm better Clay, off the screen Clay than Wade. Clay get you out of that shit, out of that jam real yeah, fast. Real Clay fast. get you nine, boom. Yeah. Three, three, shoot, uh, three, three pointers you back You white, bro. And, the, you're, the, and you're up. You're back the, up. The quick. Matter of fact, I got to go you're look right at some Clay. Up. I miss the Warriors, to be honest, bro. Yeah. I miss he them been, niggas. Been, yeah, man. They be back next year, though. It's going to be nice. By fact, what does this contract get, Clay? They all just resigned. Signed, yeah, okay. They got yeah, another dynasty man. in them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell this y'all something. This be good competition. This is who I'm rooting for in the future. The Warriors, bro. I want to see them do this without KD. You know why? They the most team that remind me of team. Mm-hmm. The main people like on them. their team can't, can't. was drafted. I gotta go with the Warriors. They drafted Clay, they drafted Draymond, they drafted uh Steph, and they went to two finals before KD got there. Now I get it, that was a fucked up move with KD, but still, it's more fucked up for KD than the Warriors because the Warriors have already proven themselves. They talk this KD shit. KD, KD got something to prove. Mm-hmm. The Warriors is already stamped. Yeah, so he got win one in, in in Brooklyn now. But I'm going to be honest, Stingy, man. Arrogant-ass Kyrie. And guess what? Let me tell you what's going to be so exciting about the East. KD and Kyrie and that Greek motherfucking freak. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be real. These motherfuckers don't want no smoke with the Greek freak. I believe in the Greek freak. I just, I just believe in Kawhi yeah, Leonard, man. though. I don't think nobody wants smoke with Leonard with... With a healthy team, Leonard gotta have the healthy Clippers. I believe Leonard just got this certain demeanor. Think about it, bro. In the All Star game, in the All Star game, because the ball wasn't in his hands, LeBron still had to be LeBron, so he wasn't able to control it. I'm talking about Leonard, mm-hmm. and Leonard still was the All Star MVP <laughs> because he already had 25 in the first half. He had already put the work in. LeBron was wanting that shit. He couldn't get it. You still ain't seen it? Mm-mm. 